Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadabia Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where they discussed the progress in implementing citizen-oriented projects and a number of local topics. During the meeting, they affirmed that Bahrain made various achievements in light of the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, which promoted the developmental march on the political, economic and social levels. They asserted that the government will continue to support the National Action March and is keen on providing the demands of the present and the future to make more development and meet the needs of the citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the Cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Following the meeting, the Secretary General of the Cabinet, Dr Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser, delivered the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed five ministries to study 16 service projects as an addition to the service system provided by the Government in Hamid Town, Galali, Maharak, Zalek and Aloisi in response to the discussions held during the latest meetings with the Representatives Council members. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Housing and Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to fulfil the needs of the residents in the aforementioned areas. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to find solutions and address the needs of SAR residents and complete the service requirements. On the occasion of the International Women's Day, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the success of women empowerment programmes which reflect in the status of Bahraini women in political, legislative and government levels. The Cabinet also commended women's contributions to achieving sustainable development goals in Bahrain. Upon the recommendations, commemoration of the Civil Service Council, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Cabinet approved amending the organisational structure of the General Secretariat of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and directed the authorities concerned to take the legal and technical procedures. The session directed to activate the supervisory role of ministries and government bodies, which will lead to taking into account the working environment of Bahraini women workers in kindergarten. The Cabinet approved the involvement of the private sector through the survey offices in conducting the preliminary survey, making the boundaries of real estate and issuing the survey certificates after approval by the competent administration. It also decided to amend the executive regulations of the real estate registration law. The meeting discussed amending the law of the Central Bank of Bahrain and financial institutions, which aims to keep up with the international financial systems and provide better protection for financial institutions and referred the draft law to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. 
The Cabinet approved the cooperation and partnership agreements between the Bahraini Government and the International Organisation for Migration to open an office of the organisation in Bahrain to implement training programmes and provide technical support to the National Committee to combat trafficking in persons. The session approved a resolution adopting a guide to technical requirements and standards for sporting business services and activities. The Cabinet discussed 11 memorandums of understanding and agreements between the Bahrain and the Republic of Turkmenistan and refer them to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The Cabinet discussed the accession of Bahrain, represented by the National Space Science Agency, to the membership of the Arab Council for Space Cooperation and the Council's Establishment System. The meeting referred the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs, a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Health and the Prince of Songkhla University in Thailand. The Cabinet approved the joint declaration between the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority and the Ministry of Agriculture, Food, Forestry and Tourism of Italy. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received a letter from the President of Mauritania, Mohammed Wild Abdulaziz. The letter was delivered to His Royal Highness by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation and the President of Mauritania's Special Envoy, Ismail Wil Sheikh Ahmed. During the meeting, which took place at Kadebia Palace, His Royal Highness and Mauritania's Minister of Foreign Affairs discussed Bahrain Mauritania bilateral relations and highlighted the importance of exploring new avenues for increasing collaboration across different areas and sectors. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, conveyed His Majesty the King's best wishes to the President of Mauritania. Mauritania's Foreign Minister expressed pleasure at the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The meeting was also attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Faisia bin Abdullah Zainal, led Bahrain's parliamentary delegation to the 29th Arab Interparliamentary Union Conference under the slogan, Jerusalem, the eternal capital of Palestine, held in the Jordanian capital, Amman. In her speech, Zanel stressed the winning of the presidency of the Representatives Council would not have been possible without the royal support of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to Bahraini women and His Majesty's belief in their potentials, capabilities and ambition to be a key part in the development process through facing different challenges and obstacles. Zanel offered also extended greetings of His Majesty the King to the speakers of the Arab parliaments and his wishes for the success of the conference. She asserted that the Palestinian cause has been and will continue to reside in the conscience of every Bahraini and first of all His Majesty the King who has included the cause in all his royal speeches. Zanal noted that the Palestinian cause has been a top priority of Bahrain's foreign policy, stressing that the parliament has given the cause the attention it deserves based on the belief the absolute justice of this issue. She lauded Saudi Arabia's stances under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in supporting the Palestinian cause and its just right. She expressed thanks to Jordan for its relentless and sincere efforts towards the Palestinian issue and the people in Palestine. In addition, Zanal expressed thanks and appreciation to all countries, peoples and organisations that support the Palestinian cause. Zanal affirmed Iran's destructive and aggressive behaviour and its role in destabilising the security of the region through forming terrorist militia that Tehran funds and provides weapons for, in addition to its persistence on its nuclear programme that is considered a direct threat to the security and stability of the region. President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated yesterday in the 21st International Symposium of the Ramada del Bianco Foundation under the slogan Heritage as a Builder of Peace 2019, held in Florence, Italy. Represented by Bahrain's Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the Kingdom is the guest of honour at this edition of the symposium within a cultural programme entitled Bahrain Meets the World. President of the Ramal de Del Bianco Foundation, Poala de Bianco, honoured Sheikh May in appreciation for her efforts in preserving cultural heritage and her contribution in building bridges between different countries to establish a dialogue that defies each country through its culture. Sheikh May asserted that attending this important event reflects the advanced level of Bahraini culture, noting the importance of the Kingdom's human heritage and the depth of Bahrain's civilization and history. 
She added that Bahrain's cultural values are the best means of promotion and the most prominent tool through which the world gets to know about the kingdom and its rich heritage. Regarding Bahrain Meets the World exhibition, Sheikh Amay said that the kingdom provided a number of distinguished models from its heritage, such as traditional Bahraini women's costumes, pottery, music and calligraphy. For her part, Director General of the Culture and Arts Directorate at the Authority, Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, gave a speech in which he presented the Kingdom's cultural programme, Bahrain Meets the World, that included an exhibition of all the elements of local cultural heritage. The Supreme Council for Environment, the SCE, Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Mohammed Mubarak bin Denin, and the President of the Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, opened the Environmental Monitoring and Inspection Office of the Supreme Council for Environment at the air cargo area of Bahrain International Airport, which underlies the keenness of the government to facilitate procedures and transactions on investors and suppliers within the framework of implementing Bahrain 2030 vision. Bindanai said the office will enable suppliers to clear their transactions directly, especially in light of the increase in goods received by air cargo, such as materials and chemical products, that are subject to inspection before entering the local market. He noted that this step will have a significant impact in promoting trade movement and increase investment. He also praised the level of cooperation and coordination between the SCE and the Customs Affairs.